Hello and welcome to Sandpoint Institute Badagavi. This is Priyanka. So in this particular video, I will be discussing about two points. The first one is KPTCL 2022 notification as well as how to prepare for this upcoming RDPR exam. So first let's get the information about the KPTCL 2022 notification. Yesterday, that is on 24th January 2022, we received the KPTCL notification in the premier newspapers. Alright, so as per that circular, there are 28 seats for AE Civil Engineering and 29 seats for JE Civil Engineering. And there are certain reservations for Hyderabad Karnataka region also, both in AE as well as JE. And the syllabus, exam pattern, exam dates, everything, each and every official information will be mentioned in official KPTCL website from 7th February 2022. So we know even though the details will be mentioned in KPTCL website from 7th February 2022, still the students are asking me what is the paper pattern, what is the syllabus and all. Based on the previous notifications of this KPTCL, we can say that the paper pattern is something like this. That is 75 marks is for the technical, that is civil engineering subjects and 25 marks is for the general study syllabus GS as well as the aptitude in that. And even the negative marking was also there that is 0.25 negative marking per question. But still all the details of this will be mentioned in official KPTCL website from 7th February 2022. So I suggest you guys to wait for that day. And now again what is the syllabus? So earlier they had mentioned that the syllabus is as per the VTU syllabus. So when we use the word as VTU syllabus they will be asking the core subjects. So what I personally feel is if you prepare the KPSC syllabus that is more than enough for this particular exam. All the core subjects like highway engineering, geotechnical engineering, environmental engineering, SOM, SA, RCC, steel, irrigation, hydrology, surveying, building materials, concrete technology, CTM, bridge. So all these subjects will be there. We can expect some diversion that will not be more than 10% of this KPSC syllabus. So that's why the student, whoever called me for the inquiry of the admissions for any of the exams, I suggest them to prepare for this KPSC syllabus. So if you prepare all 21 subjects of this KPSC, that will be more than enough for any of the exams you take. Whether it is SSC, JE, RRB, RDPR, this KPTCL, that is more than enough. So now coming to the preparation of this RDPR exam. So you guys are asking me, ma'am, what is the important subject? What is the weightage of subject? All those things. I always said in my previous videos also like the weightage whichever subject is big obviously the weightage of that subject is more whichever the subject is small or less important obviously the weightage of that subject is less and the efforts what you are putting for the high weightage subjects that much marks you will be expecting in the exam and whatever the efforts you are putting for the small subjects that much weightage will come for the exam so assume that if you take the big subjects like SOM, environmental engineering, geotechnical engineering, obviously the weightage is around 10% minimum, whichever exam you take. But when you ask the subjects like bridges or irrigation, hydrology, you are putting less efforts because they are very small subjects and you can cover within 4 to 5 days these small subjects. So obviously the weightage of these subjects are less. So our type confusion is you just check the playlist of SAC, JE, WRD, PWD in our Sandpoint on stream YouTube channel. So in most of the videos, I have discussed about these points. So you try following those and definitely you can score really good in the upcoming notifications. So again, I am telling you, if you want to prepare systematically, strategically and you need not refer any other books and all. So whatever the course we are providing for technical, that is more than enough for any of the exams. Because in our video lectures, we have referred gate question papers, IES question papers, SSC, JE, other state, PSE is everything. So you just watch all the video lectures, prepare the running notes from the video lectures. Definitely that will serve the very good purpose for all these exams. And even the students asked me like ma'am provide the lectures for free something like that. I had made it very clear in the beginning that there is no any such free concept in Sandpoint. And I strongly feel that there is no free concept anywhere in this world. So even if you get something for free in the beginning that will be for very few days. 
After that, you have to pay for the course, whatever you are joining for. Even you can analyze yourself, like what free is available in the market. And even if something is asked for free from you, whether you are able to give it for free, no, nothing is available for free. Everything has its own value and everything comes with a hidden cost. Even if you see the word as free. So that's the reason in Sandpoint you might have seen like there is no coupon code concept. There is no festival offer. Nothing. Whatever the course is there. We provide it at a very reasonable pricing. So that it should not be heavy for the students. That's it. So there was no any concept of this free or coupon code. Nothing like that earlier. And in our lifetime there will not be any such offers from Sandpoint. Remember that. So, if you are wait for the next month, you will be free for the next month. No, that is not available because we are providing the course at very, very reasonable pricing. You can just calculate and see this much pricing is not available anywhere in Karnataka. That too, with this quality teaching in all the technical subjects of civil engineering. So, you, you should be knowing that there are very few seats in KPTCL. But the students, whoever had prepared very seriously for the WRD HK exam, so the syllabus will be same. And if you had missed the opportunity of getting selected in those 181, then you can seriously try for this KPTCL because everything remains the same. Just the paper pattern is different. Don't worry about that. Just go and attempt. Just do the revision once and go and attempt the exam. But the students, whoever had prepared for this PWD, PWD is just the one third portion of the KPSC syllabus. So I suggest you guys to study other subjects also like geotech, building materials, irrigation, hydrology, fluid mechanics and all and be thorough for all these upcoming notifications. So remember one thing by the experience of discussing with the students in all these years. So what the students say me that ma'am we regret for the opportunity what we had missed earlier and we don't want to regret for the upcoming notifications that is the reason we want to study seriously for all the exams which are coming henceforth because what happens is students here who casually pwd exam birth bandarala auri gad feel ageti like na inno solp serious ag odidra nan exam chalo bari bod agitanta so that's what i used to say earlier also we cannot do anything more than regretting that so that's the reason I want to suggest is if you are a serious aspirant and if you want to be a government job servant, then prepare all these 21 technical subjects and 10 general study subjects. With these subjects, you can attempt any exam in Karnataka or any other state as well as the central exams apart from GATE and IES. So saying this, I wish you all the very best for the preparation of this KPTCL exam as well as upcoming exams in our Karnataka as well as SSCJE as well as RRB. And if you want to join the courses offered by Sandpoint, then contact the numbers which are mentioned below. All the best.